This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode, you will learn how to convert this ordinary soil moisture sensor into an IoT soil sensor or IoT moisture sensor using Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module, SSD 1306i2c supported OLED display, a relay module for controlling the water pump and a smartphone with Blink application for monitoring the soil moisture and for controlling the water pump. You don't have to be worried if you don't have this particular type of soil moisture sensor. You can use other types of soil moisture sensors as well. Anyway, personally I like this type of soil moisture sensor because it can dig deeper into the soil. The sensor props are waterproofed and are made of highly corrosion resistant material to ensure long lifetime up to 6 months after being plugged into the soil. Previously I used it with the Arduino and OLED display module and I practically demonstrated how to make a low cost yet highly efficient soil moisture meter. So if you are just getting started with the soil moisture sensor and you want to learn the extreme basics then I highly recommend you should watch my previous video. I will provide a link in the description. Here is my prototype model. As usual, I'm using my designed Node MCU ESP8266 development board along with a soil moisture sensor, OLED display module, a 12 volt relay module, and 220 volt AC light bulb all connected. I'm using a bulb instead of a water pump so that at the time of carrying out a practical demonstration, you can clearly see for yourself how I turn this bulb on or off. You can also use a 220 volt AC water pump and you can also use a DC water pump. It all depends on your choice. If you have to control a large water pump then you better use a power relay. I have made a separate video on IoT power relay in which I have practically demonstrated how to control a large water pump. Let's kick off our practical demonstration and afterward I will explain everything else. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultim 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer. Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. My IoT soil moisture monitoring application and Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module are connected to the internet. You can view the same soil moisture value on the OLED display module and Blink application. The SV or set value is basically the soil moisture threshold value that can be adjusted using this slider on the Blink application. Since different plants need a different percentage of soil moisture, so using this button on the Blink application, you can turn on and turn off the water pump at any time from any part of the world. Previously, I made it fully automatic, but this time I decided to give full control to the user. This IoT soil moisture monitoring system also sends a notification when the moisture drops below the set value or threshold value. As you can see as I move the slider, the SV value on the OLED display module also changes. If the soil moisture is less than the set value then the buzzer is also turned on. And at the same time, a notification message is also sent to the Blink application. This buzzer will only turn off when the soil moisture will increase above the set value. So after selecting the threshold value, next you can go ahead and start watering the plants.
Now, if I press the button, the light will turn on which will indicate that the motor has turned on. Now I'm going to add some water and you will see an increase in the soil moisture value. Let's say this soil moisture value is enough so now I can press the button and turn off the water pump wirelessly. It is so simple isn't it? All we need is to read the soil moisture value on the blink application and then accordingly control the water pump on the remote side. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The VCC and ground pins of the soil moisture sensor and OLED display module are connected with 3.3 volt and ground pins of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The analog output pin of the soil moisture sensor interface circuit is connected with the A0 pin of the Node MCU module. The SCK or SCL and SDA pins of the OLED display module are connected with the D1 and D2 pins. D1 is the SCL and D2 is the SDA. Digital pin D0 on the Node MCU module is used to control the relay module which is used to control the water pump. And digital pin D4 is used to control the 5 volt buzzer. The red wire of the buzzer is connected with the 5 volts while the ground wire of the buzzer is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor. The emitter of the transistor is connected with the ground while the base is connected with the pin D4 through a 10 kilo ohm resistor. The 2N2222 NPN transistor and 10 kilo ohm resistor make the driver circuit. On the left side is the 5 volt regulator power supply which is based on the LM7805 linear voltage regulator. The 7805 regulator accepts a wide range of input voltages between 7 and 28 volts. As a precaution do not use voltages above 25 volts. So it doesn't matter if you power up your project using a 9 volt or 12 volt battery or you plan to use a solar panel or 12 to 25 volts DC adopter. The 7805 regulator will step down this voltage and outputs regulated 5 volts. You can see the output of the 7805 voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. And don't forget to add these 470 microfarad decoupling capacitors with the input and output legs of the voltage regulator. So that's all about the circuit diagram. Now let's work on the blink application. Follow the same exact steps.
My Blink application is ready and now let's take a look at the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. This is the authorization code which is sent while making the Blink application. So simply copy your authorization code and paste it over here. Next, enter your Wi-Fi credentials, your Wi-Fi router name or your smartphone hotspot name and the password. These lines of codes are used with the OLED display module. Next, I defined some variables. Inside the setup function, I activated the serial communication, blink, OLED display and also told the controller which pins are going to be used as the input and output. Rest of the code is pretty straightforward. We simply run the blink, read the moisture sensor, map the moisture value to display the soil moisture value and percentage. Finally, we print the values on the OLED display module and also send the values to the Blink application through virtual pen V1. We use this if condition to check if the soil moisture is dropped below the set moisture value, which is the set value, and then the controller accordingly sends the notification message and controls the buzzer. If you remember, I was using a slider on the Blink application to set the moisture level. The value from the slider is sent to the Node MCU ESP8266655 module through this virtual pin v2 so that's all about the programming support me on patreon for more videos i hope you liked today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching